Good morning. It's good to be with you this morning. Welcome to the Walk on Waters program. I hope and pray that, that for the next 30 minutes, God will bless you and that, that God will feed you the spiritual food that you need and that, that you'll open up your hearts and your minds and, and your ears so you'll hear and feel whatever God will have for you to hear and feel and that we'll all be obedient to God and that we all will do whatever God will have us to do. And I hope and pray that we will be a blessing to God this morning and that God will anoint me and give me the very words to speak and that I can be used by you, by God this morning and that I can be a blessing to you and a blessing to God. And, and I ask God this morning, forgive me if there's anything in my life that prevents him from anointing me and using me this morning. And that if it, there is, that he'll remove it from me and, and strengthen me and make me a stronger a bolder Christian, one must willing to be served, be a servant to him and that he'll use me in a mighty ways and that he'll open up new doors for my ministries and whatever else and that God will use me. But again, I like to say welcome to Walk on Water Ministries this morning because I'm going to tell you something. If, you, if you're in tune with God, that if God wants you to, you can walk on water. But because all things are possible through God and it's just by our lack of faith that we don't do some things that we should do for God. So God led me a couple of weeks ago to, 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 to name my pro, radio program to walk on water. So he remind people that Peter walked on water and we can also do whatever God will have us do. We just got enough faith to do it and that we'll step out of the boat. So this morning, I hope and pray that you're well, you're ready or you're willing to step out of the boat to be used by God and, and that God will bless you and watch over and protect you. And all things that you do. And this morning I'd like to talk with you just for a little while about a very, very important subject and that's our children. You know, I drive up and down the road a lot of times. I mean on my job and going here and there. And I see a lot of children out on the streets by themselves and, and I see a lot a lot of parents not supervising them and and, and I go to church and I see uh, not a lot, not a lot of kids coming to church. I see uh, uh, the church vans bringing kids, which is good, but the parents should be with them too. And you know, I begin to think, well, what's wrong here? And that uh, I know the school's getting ready to start back up. I'm sorry, kids, but you got I don't know three or four weeks of school starts back, and then you know we we we, we depend on other people to raise them up and train them in in, in the right ways. And you know, I, I would encourage you this morning. That, that if God leads it on your heart to put your, your, your children into Christian schools and, you know, it's amazing me. My wife works at, at the Meyer Christian Academy down at Faith Baptist Church and that it amazes me what these young, young kids learn and how far advanced they are than in, in public school. And don't get me wrong, I'm not against public school. I'm a product of public schools and it's good, but I'm going to tell you something this morning. These Christian schools such as Meyer, Good, Meyer Christian Academy, they're great. I mean, the kids learn, learn so much more educationally and, and they also learn about Jesus Christ and, and, and you see so many of them come to know Jesus Christ as their saviors. And then also a lot of times you see it and see that their parents get saved and, and man, I mean, that's some, some awesome stuff, man. And, and I, I would encourage you this morning that if, that, that if you've been thinking about then, then search out these schools. I, I think that, uh, my Christian Academy <clears throat> will be having registration on the 18th and, and maybe you call down there. That number is 639-9772 and, and talk with them about it. And, and maybe God has laid on someone's heart that, you know, they need to, to uh, <coughs> sponsor a child in a Christian school. Well, it's my Christian Academy and some other place. And, and I hope and pray if God is doing that, that you'll do that. Give these kids a chance, and that's one way to train them up. Let, train them up in the, in, in, in the Word of God, and also train them up with, with the education. And I, I think God will bless you, and I know God will bless your children if, if you'll take them to these Christian schools and, and let them learn. I'm not kicking against public schools, don't get me wrong. But I'm going to tell you something, I've seen the, the, the results of, of, of the Meyer Christian Academy for the last 10 years, 12 years, whatever long it's been old. And it's staggering how much, how much these young people learn, both educationally, but, uh, but also spiritually. And how many, how many of them are, are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ and what they, they hear 
uh, about God in these schools and, and also over to how many of their parents are saved because their children are saved and they begin to ask mom and dad to take them to church and whatever else and they hear the word and get saved. So this morning I, I pray that if God is moving you in any manner towards that, that you'll take the steps forward and you'll, you'll get your children in, into Christian schools and, and let God teach them. That's the main thing. People, that's the main th- gift that I, I could give my boys was Jesus Christ, giving them all to, opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ. And because Dan and I did that, both of my sons were saved at young ages, and they're on their way to heaven. And I believe this morning as a parent that you owe your children the opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ at a young age so that they can be saved and so that they can go to heaven. You know, you may not want to be saved, that's fine, but it's up to you, but your children, you need to give them opportunity, and the only way you give them opportunity is let them hear the Word of God. This morning, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6, it's, now Proverbs was written by Solomon. Now Solomon is the wisest man of all times. Solomon is the smartest man that's ever been on this earth. Solomon had the greatest wisdom. And Solomon said, train up a child, in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, I want to, when you think about training up a child, what does train up a child mean? Does it mean that, does it mean that, that you are, are going to teach them to be a good human being? Yes, it means that. Does it mean that you're going to teach them how, 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 how to provide, be self-sufficient one day? Yes, it means that. Does it mean that you're going to teach them to be kind and loving to people? Yes, it means that. But most of all, it means train up a child in the way he should go. And the way that every child should go is to the Jesus Christ. That's where every child should go is to Jesus Christ. So I believe the psalm is telling us it is our duty as parents, it is our duty as human beings, as adults, it is our duties as grandparents to train our children up in the way he should go, they should go, and the way that they should go is to Jesus Christ to the cross of Calvary and set Jesus as their Savior. And the only way we can train them up that way is to get right ourselves. You see, I'm going to tell you something this morning. There's a lot of people out there training them up in the wrong ways. There's a lot of people out there waiting to train your child up in, uh, in, in pornography and in drugs and, and, and sexual addictions and, 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 and molestation and whatever else. They're out there to train your children, and that's not the way that they should go. And that should be the first thing that we are against, man, that we make sure that our children are not exposed <coughs> to these evil elements. But you know, today I'm afraid that a lot of holes, if you go to a lot of holes, man, you see pornography, you see see uh, sexual things that shouldn't be seen or whatever else. You see, see all cussing, filthy mouths or whatever else. That's not training your child up in the way he should go. Training your child up in the way he should go is, is to teach him the right way to live. And the right way to live is by the Holy Word of God. That's the way to train them up is to teach them by, by the Word of God that they will know how to live. But he said train. Train. Teach them how to go. And he said when he is old, he will not depart from it. You know, that's one thing I want you to realize now is you teach your children the right ways. You teach your children to be be Christian young know, men and women, then they're not going to depart from it. They're, they're going to hang right in, in there with with the Lord, and but they'll come back. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm getting tongue tied a little bit this morning. But what he is saying here, he is saying, hey, you know, teach them the right way. Show them the right way. Help them to know right from wrong. You know, that's our greatest duty, I believe, as, as parents. Is to make sure our children have a, a chance for eternal salvation. I believe that's the biggest thing that we need to do is make sure that our children have a chance for eternal salvation. If we don't do that, then we are, 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 what well, we're teaching them in the wrong ways. We're teaching them the wrong things. We're not showing them the right, right things to do and how to do it. We need to realize these things. We, we, we need to realize that in Ephesians 6, 4, it says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and ammunition of the Lord. 
He said, now don't be mean to your children. Don't be, be brown beating them. Don't be hateful to them. Don't be, be, be greater than thou to them. You know, I believe in discipline. I believe that children need to be disciplined when they're wrong. And I believe the Bible teaches us that we need to discipline. But I see today in our times, parents are just plumb beating their kids because they don't want them. They don't want to fool with them, so they're mean to them. They run them off. They, they provoke them to anger. They provoke them to wrath. And, but, but here, it, it, the, the, uh, the writers in Ephesians 6, 4 says, And ye, Father, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition, and, uh, uh, admonition of the Lord. Forgive me, for, I can't pronounce words too well sometimes. But what he's saying here is, is that, hey, teach them about God's love. Show them that God loves them. That God sent his son, Jesus Christ, on the, Calvary, on the cross of Calvary to die for them. Show them that, that the, the love that a, a father should have for his children and that God, the heavenly father, has for us. Show them that love. And I'm afraid today I look around and we're more important, more worried about how much money that we're making. We're more worried about how the material possessions that we have. And instead of taking time and loving our children, we're buying a present. We're buying them stuff, trying to buy their love and replace the human factor with, with money and with, with gifts to them. And, and, and we want to be great athletes and we want to be, be great this and great that. And you know, this morning, what, what I believe the Bible teaches me is that we should want them to be great men and women of God and that we need to raise them up in that way. <coughs> and the only way that we can raise them in, up in that way is for fathers to take their rightful position in the family as the head of the family. And women, I'm sorry, I apologize to you. I didn't write the book, but God Almighty said that the man was was the, was the head of the family, and that the man is the one that the, that the children's going to follow. And, and you know, this morning I'm going to tell you something, man. We're letting our kids down because we're so busy out making money and trying to buy bigger and better things that we've forgotten the important things is, is stooping down and picking up our child, telling them that we love them, taking them fishing, taking them here, taking them there. But most of all, man, we ain't taking them to church. And that's the most important thing that we should be doing. We should be making sure that our children are in God's house so that they can hear the Word of God and be taught the Word of God. But also we need to make sure that we're protecting them. You see, we are their protector, and I'm afraid today we're, we're not protecting them the way that we should. You know, I'm going to tell you something this morning. <coughs> is that my boys never stayed in any place that I didn't know to feel comfortable that they went, that they were where they was at. My sons, they never stayed with any one of their family members at, at any time. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I always check people out. To make sure that that they, that they horse were right and that they were, were going to take care of my boys if they did go someplace with them. And I'm going to tell you something this morning today. It seems like we're just passing off the kids to someone else we don't care about. And then when something happens, then, then we act so heartbroken. I'm going to tell you something this morning, my friends and neighbors. If you've got your eyes on, on Jesus, if you're walking the straight and narrow path and you're protecting your kids, making sure that they're raised up in the ways of God. And, and to making sure that God's hand of mercy and grace is over them by the way that you're living your life <coughs> and that you're checking out the people that they're hanging out with, whatever, then that's, then you're, you're doing good. And I'm going to tell you something this morning. You've got to realize something. There's more evil out there than there's good, people. We need to realize something this morning. Just because someone acts like a good person, whatever else, we need to check them. We need to sit down and talk with them. We need to check their backgrounds, whatever else. Before we ever let them go, you know, I'm going to tell you something this morning. When I had the, the gym, when I don't gym on Tuesday nights many years ago, that, that I would have strangers who would drop children off. I'm, I'm not talking about teenagers. I'm talking about three and four year old kids, five, six year old kids. And, and I say, well, can you get them a ride home? These people didn't know me from Adam, but I'm going to tell you something. They were just using this as an excuse to, to leave them and get rid of them for a while. You know, the first thing is they should have. They should never have dropped off a child to a stranger. They should have been right there with them, making sure everything was was good, everything was proper, everything was right. And they should have been checking out me. They should have been asking people about Brother Robert. They should have been asking people about Sister Diane and Brother Tom and Sister Clara and others that were down there. You know that we should have been asking, make sure that we wouldn't turn them in, that, that, to, that we wouldn't give them to people, to wolves that were in sheep clothing. You know, there's a lot of wolves in sheep clothing out there today, and I'm afraid that we'll turn our children over to, and now don't get me wrong, now you saying preacher, you saying everybody that, that does ministry work is bad. No, what I'm saying is, 
is that you make sure that you make sure that your children are, are made in God's hands, in godly people's hands, and not people who are in, in wolves and who are in sheep's clothing. You make sure you talk to them, you, you, you get a relationship with them, you, you understand, and, and so you watch them. You stay right there with them, but make sure that your kids are alright. Don't let them go places unless you know for sure, 100%, for sure, that that person that's taking them is going to watch over, take care of them, and protect them. You know, that's why I'm telling you this morning. We need to raise them up in the right ways, but we need to protect them, make sure that we are raising them up in the right ways. You know, I'm afraid this morning that we're not raising our children up in the right ways. I see children going wilder and wilder all the time. You know, I'm going to tell you something this morning. Chicago, we need to pray for Chicago. We got a lot of young people in Chicago that's in gangs that, that, are, that, that need help, that need love. Their moms and dads have not probably loved them way than the children or whatever. So they went for gangs. You see this morning what you need to realize, people, is Satan is out there seeking to just seeking to to destroy whatever he can this morning. And Satan's out there working extra hard out there this morning because he knows he's just got a few days left on this earth and he's going to get as many as he can. And I'm going to tell you something most of the time, man, he's going after our young people. And I'm tired of seeing our young people attacked by, by Satan. I believe it's time for God's people to begin to make sure that these young people are raised up in the ways of God and teach them to walk with God before them. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I see Christians drinking beer and, and they're not smoking cigarettes and all doing drugs and all this stuff. And then act like they're Christian. No, I'm going to tell you something this morning. You may be saved, but if you, if you drink a beer, you drink a whiskey, you don't drugs or this and that, then I'm going to tell you something. You ain't Christ like this morning. I know people say, well, it don't hurt nobody to drink a beer, but I'm going to tell you something this morning. The Bible teaches me it's not what goeth in a man, but that defiles him, but it's what cometh out of him. And I'm going to tell you this morning that old alcohol, and when you're sitting there in public drinking that beer, some of those kids looking at you saying, well, that's a preacher, or, well, that's a Christian, so it must be all right. Now, I'm going to tell you something this morning, brothers and sisters. Anything that alters your mind other than Jesus Christ is wrong. Anything that renews your mind other than Jesus Christ is wrong. I'm going to tell you something this morning. It's time for us to get back on the old path. It's time for us to begin to train our children in the right way. And the right ways is Jesus Christ. It's time for us to be a blessing to God and let our children see what happens when God, when we are a blessing to God, how God will bless us this morning. I'm going to tell you something this morning. We need to get back in the old path. We need to begin to take our children to church. We need to begin living the right before them. And you say, preacher, I'm living right before them. I'm teaching them right from wrong. I don't let them do this. I don't let them do that. But I'm going to tell you something this morning. If you ain't got them in God's house, let them hear the word of God, then you're teaching them wrong. I got friends that say, bro, preacher, I'm going to tell you something. I was forced into church. I didn't like it. When my child gets old enough, he can decide for himself. But I'm going to tell you something this morning, brothers and sisters. That's what's wrong with the world today. We're letting y'all, letting kids that make determine how life is going to be. And I'm sorry now. I'm sorry now. I'm going to tell you something this morning, parent. Your child ain't your boss. You're, 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 you're the, you're the leader of the family, dad. Your, 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 your babies ain't your boss, man. I'm going to tell you something this morning. You are the one that's responsible for getting them a church. You are the one that's responsible to make sure that God is in your household, that they're being raised the right way. Even if you're not a Christian, I'm going to tell you something. You need to start taking the rightful step and get yourself in church and get your children in church and your wife in church and life will be a whole lot better. You need to quit all that drinking and cuffs and carrying on around them and start teaching them the ways of God. You need to quit trying to be mean to them and start being loving to them. I'm going to tell you something this morning. There's too much many parents out there that's been mean to the children because they didn't want them. Whatever. Now I'm gonna tell you something this morning. If you want your, if you don't want your kids, then there's a whole lot of people out there who will take them. Then I'm gonna tell you if you can't find no else, you call old brother Robert and, and sister Dan, and we surely take your children. I got a friend, oh, sister Madeline, man, she takes children into the, the and teach them the right ways, get them in church, and teach them the love, the way of God's love. You see, that's why our kids are hooked on drugs and. 
Everything else is because they don't have the love in their hope that they should. They don't have the love of God in their life that they should. And it's time for us to begin to get them into God's house. It's time for us to begin to start leading them in the right direction and showing them that God loves them and that Jesus Christ died for them. Because I'm going to tell you something. If we don't teach them the right ways, honey, Satan's going to teach them the wrong ways. You can say, well, preacher, I don't agree with that. I don't really care what you agree with or whatever you don't. Whatever this morning, I'm telling you on the authority of God's word, he said, train them up in the right way. And that they will not depart from it when they are old. old. He said to raise them up, to bring them up in the nurture and, 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 and admonition of, of the Lord. And he said, then I'm going to, he said, then they'll be, they'll have a chance in this world. If you want to give your children a gift this week, give them the gift of taking them to church this morning, tomorrow morning, or whenever your church meets. Give them that gift. Let them know to hear the word of God. Let them understand that God loves them and God wants them. And look at a uh, third, uh, 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 third, uh, third John, little John three and verse four, it says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. You know, I believe God is telling us this way. I understand that he was talking to the church, but I believe God is telling us this morning that he has no greater joy than to know that, that his children are teaching their children the right ways, that he, that we are raising them up in the right way. No greater joy, he said, to hear that my children Walk in truth. The truth is Jesus Christ. It ain't this or that. The truth is Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The Redeemer of this world. The light to a, to a lost and dark world. That's the truth this morning. Raise them up in the truth and so that they'll walk in the truth. And I'm going to tell you something this morning, my friends. If you're walking in the truth, then your children will walk in the truth too. They won't be going in the wrong direction. Yeah, they made the part from it. <coughs> For a little while when they're old, when they're younger, in, in the middle of teenagers, whatever else, but they will not depart from it when they are old. So I'm going to tell you what he's saying here this morning is you raise your children up in the ways of God, and even if they stray after a little while, they're going to come back. They're going to come back. But I'm going to tell you something this morning, you raise them up in the ways of Satan, then they ain't going to come back. You say, preacher, I ain't raised up in the way to say, I'm going to tell you something this morning. If you ain't living for God, then you are raising your children up in the wrong way. You are raising them up for Satan. Bible says that you can't have two masters. you either going to serve God and your family going to serve God or you going to serve Satan. And I'm going to tell you something. If you serve Satan, then your family's going in the wrong direction and ain't nothing good going to happen for them. But I'm going to tell you something this morning. If you get your eyes on Jesus Christ, and begin to walk with your children in the right manner. Begin to take them to church. Begin to teach them the important things in life. Then I'm going to tell you something this morning, brothers and sisters. Then God will bless you. God will use you. God will, will, will show your family the right things to do. And you'll be, be blessed. And it said in, 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 it should be Second John, Second John 4. I rejoice greatly that I, that I found of thy children walking in truth as we have received the commandment from the Father. The commandment of the Father is do the Father's will and get your children in church. Do the command of God. Live your life the right way for God. Don't be going out the wrong direction. Don't be doing all this other stuff. I'm going to tell you something this morning. I've had money. I've had alcohol. I've had drugs. I've had all gambling. I've had all that stuff. And, and various other things. And, and I'm going to tell you something this morning. I was never truly happy until I found Jesus Christ. And the reason I found Jesus Christ was that my mama, when I was a little bitty boy, my mama would take us to Sunday school. And the church trained us up in the right way so that we would hear the word of God. Yes, I departed from it for a while. But I'm going to tell you something. He said, said that, I, that but when I was old, I came back at the age of 34 years old. I came back to the way my mama had taught me, my daddy had taught me, raised up in, in the ways of God, and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. You see, I'm going to tell you something this morning. The greatest gift that you can give your child this morning is raise them up, up in the ways of the Lord and let them know about Jesus Christ and, and the young age and let them be saved while their hearts are soft before Satan has a big chance to get them. Yeah, they may stray for a little while, but they're going to come back. 
I came back the way I was taught, the way I was trained. The way I was trained was through the blood of Jesus Christ that I could go free. You see this morning, I'm going to tell you something. We need to be training our children up in the ways of the Lord. That's all what he's talking about, train your children up. You know, you can teach them to be good people. That's wonderful that we need to. But I'm going to tell you something, friends and neighbors. There's a lot of good people that's going to hell. All of those who are redeemed to the blood of the Lamb are going to heaven. And all ways that you can get redeemed to the blood of the Lamb is here to preach the preach word. And all the ways you can hear to preach word is where the preach word is being preached by a man that's called by God. And I'm going to tell you something this morning, friends and neighbors, that you better get your babies in church so they're here to preach word and that they're here to word talk. And I'm going to tell you something this morning. If you love your children, if you truly love your children, you're going to have them in church tomorrow morning. Not just them, but you're going to be sitting right beside of them. You're going to have them in Sunday school. You're going to have them in, in worship service. You're going to have them in youth group or whatever else. And you're going to make sure that they're being taught right. And you're going to make sure that they're being trained the right way. And you're going to make sure that the people who are, are that, that you're, that, that are, 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 are leading the groups are not wolves and sheep or or, yeah, wolves and sheep's clothing. You're going to make sure that they're right. And the way that you make sure is that you're there with your babies. This morning, I hope and pray that God will show you this morning that God is happy when His children are walking with Him. But I truly believe God is more, most happy, most happy when we are raising our children up in the way, in His ways. Not the world's ways, but His ways. This morning, I hope and pray that God has blessed you. God has showed you things. And I would like to encourage you again to get your children to church this, this week. Also, I'd like to tell you about July 21st will be July Jam at the, at the Kentucky Exposition Center. Uh, that's for the design for young people, young, for young people. I hope and pray that you'll have them there. I hope and pray that, that you'll have them. In church tomorrow, raise saying that you'll get yourself right with God so you can raise them up in the ways of the Lord. May God bless you this week. May God watch over and protect you. I love you, but most of all, Jesus Christ loves you. Until next week, God bless you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.